Bilal Jadala, one of the most respected journalists in Gaza, has become the latest casualty in this campaign of relentless bombing by the Israelis. Now, Jadala's death adds to the ever-growing number of journalists and media workers and first responders who have been specifically been targeted in this war since the beginning of the Israeli offensive. Known as the godfather of Palestinian journalism, Jadala was in fact the chairman of the Gaza Press House that was established back in 2014. The organization is dedicated to training the region's future journalists. But Jadala's mentorship programs had helped many local journalists to get started in their careers. And it is these Palestinian journalists who are operating from inside the Gaza Strip who have been the eyes and ears who have exposed the reality of what is actually happening inside the occupied territories of Gaza. The situation is extremely grim in Gaza, and according to the Committee to Protect, protect Journalists, Jadallah's death brings the number of journalists being killed since the beginning of this Israeli campaign of bombing to 50. And this includes about 45 Palestinians, four Israelis, and one Lebanese journalist. Take a look at this video released by the Palestinian journalist Hasuna Salim, outlining the many dangers that are being faced by the Palestinian journalists while they go about doing their job on the ground. Salim was killed in an Israeli airstrike on the 19th of November. مخيم نبريش المخيم الذي يكتظ بالسكان وسط وسط المخيم نتحدث عن استهداف الاحتلال لحي سكني كامل يتكون من عشرات المنازل نتحدث عن عشرات الشهداء عن عشرات المفقودين تحت الأنقاض نتحدث عن عشرات المصابين في أزقة الشوارع والبيوت المجاورة نتحدث الآن عن قيام المواطنين بإخراج بعض الأشخاص now the statistics around healthcare worker deaths following Israel's onslaught also paint a pretty grim image. And according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, the number of healthcare workers killed in the Gaza Strip since the 7th of October has now reached over 220. This is Israel continues to relentlessly bomb the hospitals in the Gaza Strip. <laughs> في الطابق الأرضي والطابق البدروم هم يقومون بتفتيش الموظفين بتفتيش المدنيين بتفتيش حتى الجرحى والمرضى بعضهم قد تم تجريده من ملابس ووضع في وضع مهين ومزري now, according to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for the Palestinian Refugees at least about 104 of its staff members United Nations staff members have been killed in the Gaza Strip due to Israeli bombing since this conflict began It is a clear message that uh, there is no safe place in Gaza. It is the biggest number of humanitarian workers ever, you know, had been killed in a month, you know, uh, nearly. Uh, it is a message also that uh, uh, UNRWA uh, continue to work and will continue to work, you know, to serve uh, Palestine uh, refugees despite all the danger and the killing and the injuries that even looming around uh, its staff. The making matters worse are the thousands of civilian casualties which are still increasing by the hundreds. Now, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, more than 5,500 children have been killed in the Israeli bombing that has gone on relentlessly since the 7th of October. An estimated 3,250 women have also been killed in the Gaza Strip. The Palestinian Health Ministry in the West Bank has said that not only this, as many as about 695 elderly people have been killed in the Gaza Strip. الأطفال أبرياء خدش ما بدي أحكي عن أطفال ثلاث سنوات خمس سنوات أنا طلعت اليوم من بيتي عندي ثلاث أطفال لا حضنتهم ما ودعتهم على أساس إني أسيبها بس ما قدرت لما شفت بنتي حالة خطيرة. لو ودعت أطفالي يمكن ينقص ويستشهد ويصير إشي رسالتي للعالم بكفي هذول أطفال أبرياء إحنا بندافع عن بلدنا هاي بلدنا فلسطين According to the latest figures that have been released by the Palestinian Health Ministry more than 13,300 Gazans have lost their lives in the conflict to date while hundreds more continue to perish pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis This is the chances of reaching a resolution anytime soon seem pretty slim Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.